The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Yahweh spoke to Ahaz again and said, Ask Yahweh your God for a sign, either in the depths of Sheol or in the heights above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask. I will not put Yahweh to the test. He then said, Listen now, house of David, are you not satisfied with trying human patience that you should try my God's patience too? The Lord will give you a sign in any case, and it is this. The young woman is with child and will give birth to a son whom she will call Emmanuel. And our response is taken from Psalm 24. To Yahweh belong the earth and all it contains, the world and all who live there. It is he who laid its foundations on the seas, on the flowing waters, fixed it firm. Who shall go up to the mountain of Yahweh? Who shall take a stand in his holy place? The clean of hands and pure of heart, whose heart is not set on vanities, who does not swear an oath in order to deceive. Such a one will receive blessing from Yahweh, saving justice from the God of his salvation. Such is the people that seeks him, that seeks your presence. God of Jacob. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, you who enjoy God's favor. The Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what his greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Look, you are to conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I have no knowledge of man? And the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be called Holy and will be called Son of God. And I tell you this too, your cousin Elizabeth also in her old age has conceived a son, and she whom people call barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible to God. And Mary said, You see before you the Lord's servant. Let it happen to me as you have said. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen.